manager Claire is trying to be helpful. It'd be nice for you to do some lab work. I've arranged for you to do some experiments at three o'clock in lab A1. No, it's not nice for me to do laboratory work. I'll be confused by the equipment. At university, Zarnell always helped me. What am I going to do? 10 o'clock, all the younger employees go to the canteen for their coffee break. Claire has been encouraging the girl with the curly hair to get to know them. Why don't you go down to the canteen with the young ones? I want to be on my own. I'm okay working. She should socialise more. It's not good for her to be in here with us oldies all the time. Go on. Go and take a break. She meanders down the corridor towards the canteen, feeling revolted by the emerging food smells. What shall I do? I don't want to go in there. I don't know anyone. Will you look at my report, please, Mike? Yep. Email it over. As Mike is looking at her report, the girl with the curly hair fancies a cup of tea and is reminded of the clever idea she had of bringing her own kettle to work. She takes it out of her bag, fills it from her water bottle and switches it on to boil under her desk, hoping nobody notices. I'll introduce you to Gareth, who works here. He's very nice. If you have any problems, he won't mind if you ask him for help. To the girl with the curly hair's relief, the experiment goes smoothly and, sure enough, she finishes at exactly 3.30.